Utah's desolate and beautiful Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Bighorn sheep nearly went extinct here in the 1960s. Since then, conservation programs have brought them back from the brink. But when park ranger Sean McNally gets the call that a bighorn sheep is trapped in this pit, he's faced with a dilemma. Park policy is to let nature take its course. Desert bighorns are pretty special animals, and I just don't think we could just let him suffer and, and die. So Sean decides to attempt a rescue. They encounter the hikers who discovered the stranded sheep. It's a male, a ram. He was extremely gaunt. He's real shallow, back in the haunches. And he's obviously exhausted from trying to escape from the pit. He actually laid down, and I just don't think that's common behavior for an animal that's surrounded by people. And Sean considers climbing in, but they realize it's too dangerous as long as those horns are free. So Sean tries to lasso him. The hikers make a ruckus to scare him directly beneath Sean. They toss down a bucket tied to a rope, hoping to nudge him closer. Suddenly, a glimmer of hope. The sheep just might use the ladder to climb out on his own, but the bighorn doesn't know what to make of the ladder. Hey, buddy. So Sean tries again to lasso one of the horns. Oh, close. And then suddenly, the bighorn gives him a break. He didn't want any part of that rope. 120 pounds of frightened ram fights the rope. Sean realizes he needs to get another line on the animal before he slips free. There you, there you go. Get your slack up quick. He ropes the other horn, and they cinch the lines, lifting the ram's front legs into the air. Now he's all the way up. His horns are up. He's about a foot off the ground. But the real struggle is only beginning. Somebody has to tie up the animal. You be careful. He tries to secure the bighorn's front legs. Well, when he barely touched that front hoof, the sheep went berserk and started kicking. The stress of the rescue could actually kill the animal. If the bighorn fights too hard, a chemical buildup in his muscles can result in paralysis and death. The men know they have to do something quickly, so they go for his hind legs. Grab both bags and go! Okay, 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 I got down, I got down, okay. One of the hikers tosses down a towel. Sean took the towel and he put it over the sheep's face, which completely calmed it down. I couldn't believe it. It's already. Okay. Sean and Arliss carefully pick up the heavy animal. Sean pushes and Arliss pulls him up the ladder. Okay. Up again. Hold it, hold it. His, ears, okay. his, his horns caught on the crack. Incredibly, the sheep offers no resistance. Finally, he's outside the hole. Rescuers move the ram downhill, away from the pit, and carefully untie him. They expect the ram to kick when it's free, so they leave the towel over his eyes and back away. As the rescuers pull on the last bit of rope, the sheep comes alive. He takes one look at the humans who are blocking the path back to the pit and heads in the opposite direction. Even though Sean bent the rules to save the bighorn, his superiors wind up supporting his decision. As for the sheep, he's last seen heading downhill. Expert Ray Lee thinks he'll do just fine.